Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we got another dope video for you guys. So it's been a while um, since this time of type of stuff was in the meta, but when the game first came out, I mean the game just just dropped, the uh, the meta was Jesse, Nita, and Poco. And because they're just three mid-tier support spawnable type of brawlers, and I thought, you know, why isn't that the meta anymore? Why have things changed? Have things gotten more diverse? What exactly has happened? Now what I think is what happened is players just got better. Players like Piper or Brock or, you know, like just, just brawlers like that, Rico, Colt, who are high skill but long range can counter that if player is good enough. But in the map currently here, Heist, Rolling Rumble, everything is really close quarter. You'll see a Rico sometimes. You're not going to see a Colt. You're not going to see a Brock for the most part. Really good Rocks can make it work. And you're not going to see any uh, Pipers. So what I think is triple spawnable might actually work. Now, we're not going to be too overpowered. I'm playing Anita. 88 Keys is playing Penny. And we have a non-max Jesse. So this is kind of to show you guys, you know, maybe you don't need an overpowered team with every star power and all this to run through people we're at about 600 trophies so we're not gonna be facing bad teams at all and we haven't played this comp a single time before this recording so we're gonna go into the games and we're gonna see if my theory can actually work out and if so you guys can apply this you guys can apply the spawnable slash mid control brawlers in every map that isn't good for like piper rico cole brock etc so let's test out the theory let's jump into the game and let's see what happens Okay, so there we go. We got into our first game. We're going to be using Hyper Bear, which is probably going to be our main damage along with Penny Turret. So we're facing a pretty typical comp, Double Thrower and Bull on Heist. So let's see what we can do here. We have no strategy. We're literally just walking up and trying to see if we can make this work. We're going to be able to take out that Barley straight off the bat. 88 Keys is doing a really good job. But we're going to have to work as a unit here. I'm going to have to go towards this Bull. I'm going to have to take out this Mike as he... Oh, I didn't get him. Oh, that's really bad, actually. That could be really, really bad. Mm. Okay, it's fine. I think I got hit. Yep, yeah, okay. And they're going to be able to get that barley, most likely. Come on, Kano, hit that shot. So a little bit of a slow start, but that's what you'd expect with a spawnable comp, to be honest. Takes a while for you to get your supers and all that. We're about to get our first one. Going to drop that bear down, and we're going to start moving forward. We do go down. 88 keys now has his turret down. A little bit of game lag over there. Now we're gonna pinch along with this turret. It's gonna be an easy kill for us. And we can start moving up here. Oh, Kondo throws his Jesse turret on. There we go, but we really have to start moving up here if we wanna get stuff happening. Oh, how did Kondo not kill that Dyna? I'm gonna go down and not a very good start so far. We're definitely struggling. We got to make our way up the map here. Gonna move back. He's just gonna super our bear. Got a few shots off, so we're starting to move them back. We can't allow that barley to get a super off, which he probably will. Trying to get this uh, this bull over here. We're able to get that. Gonna get a couple shots off. Gonna be able to get that kill. So we, our safe isn't down yet. But we're going to need a pie pressure, pressure literally for the rest of the game if we want even a chance at winning. So we got the penny turret up. We got the bear down. The penny turret's going to start doing some work. We're doing some pretty quick damage to be honest. But it's still definitely a long shot to win. Non-max Jesse turret so we can't keep it alive. and It's not going to just jump off of a bunch of different stuff. We're actually doing fairly well right now. This bull is going to go out right over here. We got to get that barley. 88 keys hits the shots. We got 15 seconds here. Penny turret's a little bit too far to uh, impact the safe. Gonna go for a couple shots. Gonna take some shots. Let's go. Two, one. Oh my god. I can't believe that. We almost actually got it. So it didn't work out over there. That was a really, really good first game. Um, that showed us a lot though. That showed that the most important thing about this comp is the time it takes to get set up. So obviously there's going to be a very big loss of mid control. So that just pointed out a lot for me. We're going to speak a little bit as a team in game chat. We're going to hop into the second game. What we're going to focus on primarily is making sure we don't get off to that rough start where they just absolutely dominate us at the start and we're playing from behind. You guys saw once we had that pressure, all they needed to do was 4% and we did 89% before they can even do that. Let's hop into the next game and hopefully we can have a different start and we're gonna end off winning the game. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game and we're gonna be going up against Rico, Primo, and Shelly. So hopefully we do a little bit better here. Double thrower does kind of counter spawnable quite a bit. 
So we'll see if we're able to take advantage here. We're already able to get one kill. Okay, I thought that, that Shelly would have been AFK, but that's fine, we're still alive. Looks like they've taken care of that Primo properly. So we're in a pretty good spot. And since we got a good start, I think, you know, I think we've actually already won this game, to be honest. Because now we're going to start rolling our supers in. We got the penny turret on the safe. And as soon as I get that hyper bear down, it's just going to be basically a GG. You guys can see the penny turret is just absolutely going off. I'm going to put that hyper bear in front of me, actually, to protect me from the Shelly, to keep me alive. He's going to go on the safe, do some work, and wow. You guys just saw how fast that happened. That was insane. We didn't even have the Jesse. The Jesse wasn't even important. The turret and the hyper bear just absolutely go in. And that was really, really good. So let's hop into the next game. Hopefully we can have the same results, but hopefully we face more like lobbers or something like that. So we can test out our comp against that team comp. Let's hop into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game. We're gonna be facing a Dyna, a Rico, and a Bull. So this is the most common comp that you see on this map at high trophy levels. So let's see what we can do. So far, a pretty interesting start. Again, you'd expect us to, sm to start slow against a good team. But they haven't done too much damage, so I think we're honestly in the clear. They only did 30%. We're starting to get set up over here. We're able to get a kill. Kano now has his turret. So this is looking pretty good, actually. We gotta wait for 88 keys to get his turret, though. So we're just gonna put this over here to protect us from the bull. The bull's gonna be forced to go down. These are gonna run right into Kano, hopefully. Getting some good shots off. 88 keys is gonna go down, but that's fine. I'm gonna do a little, a little bit of damage to the safe. But honestly, we're not what does damage, so we shouldn't sacrifice our life at all to go for safe damage. We're going to throw the Hyper Bear over here. And we're going to go towards the safe. Going to keep that uh, that bull pinched. And now we're going off. We're doing a ton of damage over here. We did a ton, and now we have the Penny Turret up. Penny Turret obviously does a lot of damage. We're going to be able to take out this bull fairly easily. Penny Turret's still going in. I believe it's been taken down, though. We're going to throw this right over here, and we're going to start walking up. We know that the bull is somewhere over here. Hopefully we don't lose. We only need two more shots. There it is, and that is going to be the game. So that was a little bit tougher than I expected it to be, to be honest, because I thought once we were only down 30% at the start, we'd start to go in. But Penny Turret never locked onto the safe, so I suppose that's why we didn't just absolutely dominate them. We also have to factor in Kano is just a random player. Like, I know him very well from my streams, but he's not a top player. Clearly doesn't have a max Jesse. He's not the most skilled in the world. Sorry, Kano. Um, but yeah, that's that. So anyways, let's hop into the next game. And honestly, this comp is looking really good. I actually think I like what I'm seeing. Let's get into it and let's see what happens. Okay, so we're gonna insta queue over here, facing again the stereotypical comp, or not the stereotypical, sorry, the typical comp that you see on this map being Bull, Rico, plus Lobber. This time it's Barley instead of Mike, which actually I think might help us more. Anyways, we're gonna basically just try and charge our super off this Bull, not let this Bull get past us. Nothing that this Bull can do. We just have range on it. So we're gonna take this super, super slow. We're gonna get our hyper bear down. We're gonna start walking towards the safe, but we're also gonna take out that ball in the meantime. So we're gonna hide in this grass. Obviously, we're not the main damage dealer, so we're not looking to do damage. We're kinda of just looking to cause a bunch of havoc. We're able to take out one guy over there. Gonna get our super right back. We're gonna throw it on the thrower, because throwers can't really deal with bears very well. Gonna be able to pick up that kill, and hopefully now the bear and the turret lock on. They will, and you guys are gonna see a ton of damage being done right there. The turret absolutely going in like it's supposed to. Gonna be able to pick up a kill. Turret still locking on. Doing a ton of damage. Gonna throw down the bear. It's causing a little bit of a distraction, but oh, I thought I was gonna go down. I didn't end up going down, but we should be fine. We have a turret on the safe right now. Jesse on the save. I mean, this is a really good comp, actually. This is really, really working out. Not very high skilled. You don't need high skill to play this comp at all. Um, but that is going to be game. So again, really, really good. What are we now? I think we're 3-1 so far. But we're starting to pick up on things and run through teams a lot quicker. Let's hop into the next game. Okay, so here we go. Into the next game. They also have a Jesse, which is pretty interesting. So that's their Jesse is probably max. So this is going to be pretty cool. But they do have a really high damage comp, and it looks like they're probably going to have a strong start on us. We're able to have a good start over there on that bull. AD keys did go a little bit too close, so he's going to go down. But we're fine. We're doing really well. 
We're gonna pick up a kill over there. We're gonna pinch this Dino with the bear. Oh, the bear took a little bit of an odd course over there. We're gonna be hit by that, but that actually opens up its walls, which is decent for us because we have more range than them. And we don't have a thrower and they do, but at the same time, the penny turret does really like those walls over there. A little bit of lag, but that's fine. Gonna move up. Gonna go for this uh, mic. Still a little bit of lag, unfortunately. Gonna drop this right over here. Gonna do a ton of damage on the save. You guys can see how fast that safe's going down. I'm just gonna regen over here. We did like 20% with that little bit of time with the bear. So that's really, really good. I actually have a little bit of delay. Okay, oh, some lag still, but it's fine. We have 88 keys on the safe. We're gonna throw our, our bear on the safe and that should be game. Don't even have to move. Gonna stand still. Bear is going to absolutely take it out along with the turret. And again, really, really amazing. Now we had lag that game. We're able to get star player again. But again, the team comp is really, really coming together. So let's hop into one more game. Hopefully we can go five and one on the video. Let's see what happens. Okay, so here we go into the next game, our final game, and this is going to be interesting because they have double tank Nita. They have a lot of HP on this team. This is going to be a rough one for us for sure. This is going to be a true test. So we're going to have to take this game very slowly. You guys can see we're doing a little bit of damage to everybody here. We're able to get our super, so we're going to put this right down over here. We're going to be able to take out that Primo, and this Nita Bear is just going to act as a shield for us. A defensive turret to start us off. Probably a good call over there by 88 keys. Again, trying to take this really, really slow. Kano's going to be able to get that kill most likely. Going to drop this Nita Bear over here. And now it's going to go off on the safe. Going to be able to get that kill. Looking for another Nita Bear here. Trying to take our time. Going to drop the Nita Bear. Hopefully, there we go. We're able to stay alive somehow okay looking pretty good still primo's gonna jump on the mortar because he knows exactly how much damage he's about to take if he didn't do that gonna drop our nita bear again which absolutely is destroying this primo we're gonna get the kill but unfortunately we're gonna go down 88 keys doing really well and to be honest we are destroying them right now like i i did not think this would be happening we're, we're doing insanely well i can only imagine what our comp would be like if we had a max jesse to be honest so again let's put our Bear on the Nita. Only three shots to take out this Primo, so we're gonna walk right up to it. And we are applying a really, really strong amount of pressure over here. I don't believe this is a Hyper Bear. So we're gonna take that out. I'm just gonna move up. We're really close to Hyper Bear. Just gonna get a couple shots on the Nita, put this over here, and that should be game and it is so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed that that's actually a really good comp so again it's not exactly for this map it's just the the type of brawlers in general that are spawnable slash mid-range control if you're there are tight close quarter maps such as this one that we just played i would definitely recommend giving it a try it's kind of like a cheat system almost but anyways I hope you guys enjoyed. I got all my new equipment right over there on my bed. It's going to be really, really cool when I set everything up. And I hope you guys enjoy the new look. So anyways, it's going to be it for today. I will catch you guys again tomorrow. See you guys then. Peace.